Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to survive against massive amounts of chrysalids. So it is time for Operation Drunken Heat where we are going for another engineer but moreover we're trying to counter the dark event of infestation which would be really really bad because extra chrysalids each mission are not just random chrysalids uh, in packs but they are burrowed down chrysalids and that will make advancing so much more difficult so that uh, is one problem the other problem is uh, the a team is injured the b team is injured so we need to run this again with the C team and not even a really like good combination. I don't have any marksmen available at this point, still needing to train some up to uh, sergeant level. So we got B Bastard, uh, Roro, the DM, Frodo, Shooter and Striker. We're running double assault in this um, combination. We're going to see how this is going to work out. I decided besides the unique um, uh, items, the ones that we can not uh, get back. Uh, I made a mistake here. This should not be on you. So besides the unique items, the ones that we cannot get back, they do have a good but not uh, the best equipment. And the reason why I wanted to do that is I can replace every single item here on the screen. It would be painful, but it's not going to be the end of the world but I cannot replace the uh, unique items and I seriously don't know if this group is going to be successful or not. I should have a bit more trust in them, but uh, this campaign is quite brutal and our current status in terms of uh, ballistic weapons and just sergeants might be too far behind the curve to actually do something. Let's see. All right, we landed. Let's uh, take a good look. This is going to be one of the missions that is not easy. Uh, straight up movement there. I know the style set, so we're looking at kind of that S curve, high cover here, two openings here, high ground here, and then there's an opening over here as well. Not easy to play specifically if you have a limited amount of turns to actually go where you want. Uh, biggest problem with that tile set is you're typically um, either running immediately into enemies or um, you uh, take too long to set up. So we need to really push forward even if that means that we're running into enemies. Okay, well, so much for that running into enemies. Uh, Hive warrior here, another guy there, infector there. Mm. That's not good. I'm going. Okay, let's start clearing out all of that. So we want this side here to be cleared out. The Hive warrior needs to die relatively speaking soon. They are dangerous and deal a lot of damage. So we killed the small one and I think fully shredded the Hive Warrior. Yeah, that's good. Um, so we theoretically could give one action over to Frodo. There's still an infector. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let me see. This here could work. I also need to push forward, but we can't push forward if we're already dying. So let's start with that. And then we're overwatching, which then leads into teamwork. Which then leads into another shot. Which then hopefully leads into a finish him. Hive 
Ivoria is even higher priority than that stupid cr uh, chameleon. Let's give it a blinding protocol. I think that's a fair slowdown. Yeah, that would have been extra damage, but unfortunately didn't work out. I hope it's worth it. Don't want to charge in too far. I want to keep run and gun. Yeah, minimum damage isn't really killing it. Oh no. Oh no, that shows on top of it. And then it's... Uh, yeah, on. From all of the chosen, it's uh, the worst one. Immunity to melee, can summon allies, savage, that's chrysalids mainly. Mist shots generate shielding, that's a problem, and evasive, which means the damage isn't really sticking. That's a brutal combination. Bewilderment is cool. Skirmisher, not good because we're not running skirmishers, so. But bewilderment is okay. So she came in here. Alright, move in and hit the DM. Yeah, that's good. Fantastic. Gets Perry back, that is great, which means he hasn't summoned that stupid hole, which they typically summon. This is hopefully spotting out the chameleon. It's not. Oh, that is bad. That is bad. I was hoping we would spot it out. Five percent shot missed. That is equally not good. Proto moves up. Solid kill. And I hate to say it, but I think I need to push into this direction here to be our new front uh, front line over here haven't spotted the chameleon out could be anywhere really it's any anybody's guess Let's just put 8 protocol down here so that Bastard has a lower chance of getting hit. More coming in. Well, not good. Moving up with Roro. Advent forces on the ground. We haven't even found uh, the chosen. Now let's do this here. That'll nicely hit the chameleon. And triplet hit. Might as well even explode the mine with it. A trivial loss, easily replaced. Okay, 
Okay, we still have sustaining fire. Maybe should have moved forward and actually used uh, zone suppression. I think I've seen the the chrysalid uh, here when the fog of war was not there. Right there. All right, spotted it out. Spotted it out. Um, which kind of brings us to the finishing touches here. Moving into full cover. I think that the Chosen might be out there. 50-50 is good enough for me to use run and gun on it because that gives us the battle scanner. If I had to guess, I would think the Chosen is somewhere over here. It's just my gut uh, um, and just how fast she moves. That's telling me she might be around here. <laughs> Nailed it! Effing nailed it. Well, game knowledge certainly helps with these uh, things, guys. Just in case you're wondering how I can uh, predict all of uh, that. Zone suppression. Can we suppress both? Maybe. Are they suppressed? No. I think it was unfortunately... Just uh, being a red outlined due to the uh, beacon. Stun, 21, 50-50. It's not great to take these shots. Uh, and I think we're better off with... Actually overwatching, but we don't have any overwatch perks on this character. So might as well take the 50-50. Okay, decent damage. Not perfect, but decent. And if we are just making sure that enough sustained damage comes through, Chip Bearer is now at two hit points, which could be a kill next turn. Of course, uh, the Chosen is now officially joined, which makes this whole ordeal here more difficult than it was before. Uh, I think we're, we were still in half cover. There's another pack up here. It's getting worse and worse. Roro is eating a lot of hits for the team. Takes not only one, but three for the team. Two blinded characters doesn't help either, right? Hmm. That extra pack here is packing is dangerous let's try to remove that stupid shield bearer that should be our first target oh well that uh, took way less resources than i would have anticipated next up the skirmisher is a problem that's actually a large problem 
So this here would kill uh, out of the cover, also from the heavy lance. I would want to go ahead and do that. Very good. There is no honor in it, and uh, our guys are like, yep, absolutely, there is no honor in it. Okay, I'll go. Down. Don't move, you'll be all right. We need to push forward. Trying to actually hit that skirmisher, but he's potentially too far away. Can't really see anything over here. BDM overwatches. Starting to feel out uh, the trooper, unsuccessful, so. And yeah, that's not going to happen, so might as well just overwatch. They need to move. Okay, Harbor Wave. Yeah, I suspected that would happen. We're clustered up, so she takes the opportunity. Double hit, double days. We have a soldier down. Get him back on their feet on the double. Okay, well, at least the dazing part is not the biggest problem, and we're not up against the time. Just need to deal with that um, quite stupid skirmisher there. I think Frodo is the right one to deal with it. Best chances to hit someone in full cover. Okay. That worked well. I mean, look, I could use the last grenade, but we know chrysalids are still there, so that's not going to happen. I would much rather want to hit the skirmisher. I find it curious, I can't really even move in properly. here and of course receiving a call okay back so um yeah we need to definitely get uh, the skirmisher down question is now how are we doing it a couple of options here the grenade would be the safe way but i don't want to waste that and yes it would be a waste for this i need it for a later pack uh, so, I hate taking 30-ish percent shots. It's definitely not my favorite. 57 uh, is already better, but not great either. Can't aggressively push forward. It's really a stalemate because uh, you either start to flank each other. Tired of to 
or have uh, really bad chances of hitting. And we're accepting the latter at the moment. 20% isn't great. He has bunkered himself in. And the only thing that we could do is effectively start to suppress him. Isn't great. Don't like it. But all of the other options are worse. Starting to melt down the front line. I guess be okay. Taking cover. And uh, trying our best with those 50-50s. Typically you don't want to have an open firefight against uh, enemies. Cover is holding, that's good. And that on the other end is not so good. I said I didn't want to use the grenade, and I don't want to. But unfortunately, this one here is too juicy to not use it. Okay, good, so far, good. Let's continue with uh, killing that stun lancer. Reload. And not a hit. Unfortunate. We need to hit the assassin in order to shred her. I think the stun lance is actually sitting somewhere else. Such strange aiming angles. Could go out in the open and just tank with striker. It might be the right thing to do actually. Just currently it's just the assassin and she can reach us anyways if she desires to. Mm. Yeah, we need to kill the Lancer. No shredding. He unfortunately double dodged. Doesn't help us to, that she has a lot of dodging as well. And I will just suppress in the hopes that that uh, actually will reduce her hit chance.
We need better cover. And we need to shred her. That's our biggest problem. 50-50 to shred her. It's a good start. Another adrenaline rush. Roro is get, uh, getting back up. We could overwatch. Um, you know, let's use the blinding protocol. It takes those two guys out for a turn. And we're also starting to hit them. Like I said, we need to work through the enemies bit by bit. There are chests over here, which is great, but I don't even have the time to go there yet. So we're keeping full cover. I like that position. There you go. What value do you place on the lives of your enemy? The EDM can actually tank her. So having this here is a really, really good flank. I'm continuing to suppress her. And I think I just don't want to be uh, flankable, so we're putting ourselves in full cover. Really solid uh, cover position. Lots and lots of enemies slowly coming in. We can see there's yet another pack. Okay, we can't really get him. We know there is another pack there, which means we're fighting against one and we have a stupid assassin here. So maybe the name of the game this time is focus the assassin to make her flee. That's some solid shredding right there. I need healing. So that'll be one into a substantial heal. That's two. Running and gunning and sandwich her nicely. Okay, good. I would like to flank, but I'm afraid if I move around in the front, I might be in trouble. Can I? No, I cannot. Hmm. I mean, we could go for the assess. My problem is if everybody charges back, we almost invite the enemy to uh, so even if we kill her we almost invite the enemy to push in five turns not enough to push through the chrysalids we need to kill both of these guys then the assassin and then there's the chrysalid pack that's the order of things sucks but it is what it is <clears throat> i 
36% not good Roro gets the aid protocol because I want to move more people to that middle pillar best of them tries to take shots but 40 ish percent isn't great to begin with overwatch on striker reload suppression to make him less of a problem and then we do have that 50 percent uh, shot could ignore it could take it for overwatching it gets worse so might as well just try to remove cover to be honest Well, I guess both of them are immune to each other's media attack. Okay. Frodo moves up, better position, high ground, I like it. Yeah, it's a sort of a flank on the other side. I'll keep the combat protocol and we're just continuing to try to hit 40% at some point will move uh, will hit Finally. that's going to be our ongoing one-on-one -on -one. I think she's going to be triggered to use her sword which is exactly what I'm hoping she will do. We're keeping our ammo count high and we're trying to get that guy out of cover. Moving up for better chances but also closer proximity. Who has the better chance to hit 70 75 funnily enough the trooper thinking she would go for melee tech that, that unfortunately indeed hurt the fate of this world rests on the shoulders of your band of misfits but in the end the blame for its loss will lie with you and there now Frodo doesn't want to be flanked from the other side so we're just moving up Trying to shred him proactively. We're now exchanging 40% shots. Completely ridiculous, but what am I supposed to do? It's a big effing stalemate here. Comet Protocol 3 instead of 4? Yeah, figured. Of course. We'll wait. Uh, maybe someone hits it for a. Uh, for grazing hit. I got it, right? Okay, fantastic. Roger that. EDM moves up, no longer tanks our most hated chosen. Come on, move in.
Good, we know exactly that the swarm is right there. We cannot go one step further without triggering it. And that is okay. I mean, it is what it is, right? Did not hit. Start to suppress. Suppressions do not stack in case you're wondering. So we really need to just chuck through his stupid amount of hit points and armor. The M moves up, reloads. I wonder if I should use my last med kit. He still has eight hit points, so I guess we're fine. Adjusting sights. First time we can take a shot. We're suppressing beforehand. Lots of 30% shots. I don't think that we're realistically going to hit him. 11%, that's a joke. We're just rather be better off overwatching. She's burning. That's good. Another reload. Yeah, defense and um, defense and full cover together make for a terrible combination I suppose adrenaline rush into heal for bastard into this is stupid it's really a stupid way of playing the game but if we push in we're effed if we stay here we're f as well. We're F'd either way, that is the, the big problem. I think what I'm going to do is just comment protocol his stupid face. I was about to almost say something else. Can't midi hit or kill her. Absolutely. Moving a bit over here. Suppression against potential attacks with her gun. 50-50 is good enough. Now, yeah, even if it misses, it's, it's okay. You can do the shielding will be absorbed by the fire damage. She hopefully goes in with a sword, tries to new. Getting worse and worse. That's bad as well. The amount of punishment that I have to take in this uh, mission is unreasonable. I mean, I get it. Things need to be hard, and this is the C team, and it's a hard mission. Yada, yada, yada. But seriously, I mean, it is an unreasonable amount. me it's clear as daylight this is a bad mission okay, I'll go. Down. 
down, you're fine. This here feels like being repeatedly kicked in the nuts, and then, and then the uh, the game asks you, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" And you damn right know, nope, I'm not. But thanks for asking, I guess. to move too far. Not a cool position either for Bastard, he, but he needs to move closer over here, so anything that is getting me at least remotely closer to there is, I suppose, acceptable. Roro moves back into cover. She's taking fire damage, which is good, but she's now stopped burning. I said crit. Bomb? Smoke bomb? No, just nothing? Okay. Look, biggest problem here is we need to push forward. It's almost like I would compare it with snooker. Um, I don't need to think about what is going to save this round. I need to think about what's also going to save the next round. We have five more turns and we need to get here. That is a monumental push through a big, fat, angry set of uh, chrysalids that all want to see us dead. Okay, that didn't work out. Certainly doesn't help that we're not hitting our shots, the 96% one. Or dealing minimum damage. <laughs> this game is jinxed. You know, it's one of those missions where you, like, sincerely from the bottom of your heart feel something is not right. It's just not working. You're trying your best, but it's an uphill battle. I don't want to sound too poetic here, but boy, is this mission not going our way. Yeah, we need to go further to the front line. I need to think about next turn. In an optimal case, she, uh, the hunter will trigger overwatch and die. And of course. If you think that that was a mistake, I tend to disagree because, like I said, we need to think about next turn. Yes, I could have played it safer, but believe me, the five turns go by faster than you might think. And there was a chance that she actually would have, um, she actually would have used her sword and triggered Overwatch. So that unclocks uh, the timer, unfortunately. Right, follow today. The elders would have me suffer a fate worse than death. I must retreat for now, but we will not be apart for long. We've proven the chosen can be heard. 
We've just proven that we can uh, withstand a lot of damage. This here feels like Rocky Balboa, round number 12. You have both eyes swollen, complete knockdown, and then there's just one more round to go. Yeah, hmm. How do we approach that? Five rounds. On the one hand, I need to push. On the other hand, I don't want to push too much. Well, that definitely worked. And this here should be fine as well, right? 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 Yeah, okay, cool. Clearly, we don't want uh, mm, him to be a frontliner. Could move all the way over here. So from here to here is fine in one move and that could help us. I could also position here, which by the way, fun fact against Chrysalids is a fantastic defense. They can't traverse here and this here is also not traversable terrain. So there's actually a really good hold. They need to move all the way around. Some of the um, have uh, the feeling that we're going to see a huge storm of them. Might as well move to here and just reload for now. Good, now the time is really ticking. Can't reach it, maybe because it's not in squat size uh, sight at the moment. Okay, there's no way over here. Cool. Good. All right, I'll go. Didn't need run and, uh, run and gun. Took uh, the armor away. Hit it nicely. Still got blinding protocol. Uh, maybe for that stupid chrysalis chameleon. I guess that'll be okay. Striker moves up, and striker strikes. Anders with a kill no problem to stand in the open chrysalids will not care about cover i am thinking i can traverse heights so i'm not safe up here Hmm. Stupid little bugs. Let's focus on the hunters. Chameleon sucks as well, but can't really do much about it now. I can shoot it, and I will. Rest assured. What's its movement? 20. Okay. Well, then we need to stand all the way back to here. Hit good. That, not so good.
Good, that's the one parry that we do have. What are you even talking about? How is this remotely fair? But this campaign was never about being fair, Saiken. You wanted an absolute bloodbath, so don't complain. Well, thank you, imaginary straw man, for reminding me of the errors of my ways. I indeed wanted a pretty sizable bloodbath. And I suppose this is what we are uh, getting. Think about what you wish for. Because it might come true. Reload. And... Shoot. No idea how we are supposed to deal with that. I wish we had a protocol. This place isn't bad, but we're too far away from getting further in next turn. I need to move. The Santa won't be able to do something, these two definitely can, so I need to take one of uh, the hunters out. Stupid chameleon potentially will be able to do something as well. But again, can't really do much about that now. Come on, hit him, and hit him hard. Oh, yeah, baby. Good job. I indeed saw that. That was delicious. Double suppression. Means also two uh, overboard shots. We're having a really good position with Frodo. Unfortunately, there is one counterattack. And now... It's up for suppression. Nice hit, good job. Come on, miss. Very good. All right, on the edge of my seat, literally and figuratively. Good job. Not so good job uh, that he is uh, just now hiding. Ooh. And we know there is another one. Look, I need to push in. There's no point in wasting time. Nessun problema, capo. Posizione obiettivo confermata. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Hmm. That would cost us one shot. I'll see how the round is going to play out. Stunning someone? That actually wouldn't be too bad either. At the moment, it, the, the main thing here is staying in the game. That is really the name of the game here. Good hit. Could deal one point of damage. We know there is a hidden chameleon here. Move over there. Take it.
Can't AOE suppress. So it is correct that it is killing time. Come on, max damage. Very good. Blocking the entrance, and ah, now they can just jump up, so it's not worth it. That's it. So this here will uh, spot out the chameleon. It won't. Mm, not good. Move up. Hurt it. Hurt it that bad that it doesn't want to live anymore. Heck the chest. Hmm, I like the scanning reduction. That's good. Facility lead would have been on the plate as well. There we go, baby. Ooh, he missed. <laughs> okay, so we do have two chameleons. We have no, no more stupid beacons. Well, that's okay. Well, listen. Does anyone have it on preview? No, we don't. Of course we don't. But I think it might be standing here. Let's move already. No. It was just a normal corpse. All right, I'll go. Yeah, of course it positions itself in a way that no one can hit it. Yeah, sure. Sure, bro. But we're <laughs> actually hiding behind the crates where the, uh, where the aliens uh, can't move over. That's funny. So the DM is yet again the frontliner. <laughs> Why is this happening? Who's spawning them, by the way? Six supplies is bad. I actually like it. Good, plenty of damage, but still not enough to get it fully down. Shooter moves up. Ah! 
Good old minimum damage. Alright, we're definitely continuing with just hitting this guy. Reload, full damage. And listen, we're just overwatching. Perry might, uh, m might. Perry might hit, and there's another miss. Okay, well. Stupid chameleons. There's the parry. Okay, reloading. And shoot him in the face, please. Reducing the chances that anyone goes for Frodo, because that would be the safe kill here. Okay, Striker actually tries to spot out that other chameleon. Limited success. Let me see. It's potentially already stalking us. Might be here. has a stupid amount of movement, so I wouldn't be surprised if it sits around here somewhere. Hard to tell, we have so many corpses on the ground. Just want to make sure it's not near Frodo. It is not, that's good. isn't there either. I mean, it was over here, so... Finally. Nope. That's not it either. Rock and roll. Okay, I'll go. Overwatch. Come get stuff. I'm on it. Affirmative. Cover Gotta come out. Monte la Guardia. Again, three infectors is completely over the top, uh, just spawning every second round. Doesn't necessarily help us either, that we're completely botching all of the shots.
Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, what I would want to do, I really would like to get that side view again, because sometimes uh, the concealment of uh, the chameleon just breaks when you're in that side view. Not seeing anything, unfortunately. Like I said, sometimes. So this could hit the chameleon as well if it's nearby. It was basically for free. Chrysalids were the worst idea of all. It's a painful, painful, painful campaign. Please unborrow and detect the DM. Oh, even worse. More small chrysalids. Well, I couldn't guess that we're fighting right. over dozens of rounds. All right, I'll go. Here I come. Okay, we know someone has borrowed over here. And I need to resort back to somewhat stupid tactics. I'm trusting you here. Trying to spot out where that last guy is. This here doesn't really surface any uh, anything anymore doesn't do us any good no just a big fat no overall oh my lord Million. Still somehow moving forward. Miss Click lost his shot action unfortunately but we cut uh, got a couple of action uh, of shots lined up I wish this would provoke overwatch but it's not even doing that it is not even doing that Yep, slithered away like a pro. Finally. I'm going. 
Shooter moves over here. Let's get that hive drone. the day would come that he would be going for fucking Frodo. We dreaded it. We didn't want to accept it. But it will eventually happen. Moves up, tries to spot him out. Not happening. Here I come. Blocking the direct uh, fields in and around Frodo. Got it covered. I'm on it. Affirmative covering noise is able. Oh boy, the next severe injury. And I think we're done. Oh. I know this is good content to see me dragging my half-beaten corpse over 33 enemies. But this is making me age faster. Just the amount of punishment that the game is giving to you. I, I brought all of the right uh, tools. Battle scanner times two. But how could I even predict that we're fighting against an invisible chosen end? Not only one, but two packs of chameleons. Like, <clears throat> the game is just doubling down on this shit continuously. And then, on top of it, uh, we fought through like a quadruplet uh, of chrysalids. Then it felt like we were engaged with the Chosen for the better part of five or six rounds. It went through two iterations of all of its abilities. And we fought not only one, not two, but three packs of Advent during that time. Granted, they were a bit smaller, quote-unquote, only three enemies. But I, fighting in full uh, full uh, cover against full cover, this is and not being able to progress because you know there is a big fat swarm of chrysalids back there. This is uh, stuff of nightmares. And then once we have finally killed the chosen, <clears throat> we find ourselves against two um, chameleons that continuously spawn uh, further enemies. It's just nothing of this mission was appealing in any shape or form. It was horrible. Okay, well, Roro. Charge up to an enemy and hit it. Reposition or free deployment. I think it's clear what we're taking. The question now is, do we want to wait until Unbreakable, Panic Stun and Mind Control is a cool immunity, but Covering Fire isn't bad either. Demolition, I think, isn't bad either, because uh, in this case, Demolition would have been very, very, very good. I'm almost thinking to go Demolition. Okay, well. The DM has uh, used his melee skills to a really good degree. 
Once per turn, get the non-movement action refund after killing an enemy with a turn ending melee attack. So if we can kill, we would not only get a movement, but also another action. I like it. He's a vanguard. Frodo. This is a cool ability, but he needs a few more points. I like him placed with a total armor. But I also like uh, that uh, armor and defense when overwatching or suppressing. And I think we're going to go for that. I really appreciate uh, being able to withstand, I mean, down to one hit point, right? Covering fire is cool for specialists. I like that anti-venom stims, poison immunity. And we could remove uh, all of the nasty effects that the Chosens are giving us. So yeah, that's a good one. Implacable is a fantastic ability. Love it, really good, but he has a similar ability, so we don't need to double. Hair trigger, good. Hundreds of corpses, good as well. Hive warrior, good. Infestation counter, good. Engineer, good. So a lot of goods, uh, which at least makes the whole fight that I had to go through more bearable. Ooh. No need alien alloys. <coughs> Don't need alien alloys. I mean, we. Hmm. The scanning is quicker, so maybe we'll just get the soldier. Three days? Hmm, not too bad. Talon rounds? Also not bad for shotguns. Shotgun and Talon rounds are best friends. And we got a Captain Marine. Andrew the Chainsaw. I tell you what, uh, I still have a request from one of the viewers regarding a character. And I tend to take them serious. Uh, so we got RG Day Beast uh, with uh, solid uh, Pliskin Snake. So let's uh, mm, uh, do that. Solid. Snake and nickname Pliskin. Someone was uh, mm, watching 80s and 90s movies. Certainly not from Russia, but uh, mm, actually from uh, the United States. And if my memory serves me well, I think Pliskin had the good old eye patch. Maybe a bit of a different hair. Yeah, that. Good enough. All right. Snake Pliskin. Welcome to the pool. Um, customize body uh, we want uh, the blue outfit because you're a marine got a nice little pattern here and save to character pool there you go um, covering fire super helpful what he's a genius oh my lord that is actually good Splendid armor, yes. Combat awareness. Uh, that we wanted to do that, yes. And light him up uh, was our choice, yes, as well. But 28 points. Lightning reflex, this is dope. Two hit points is great. And a dedicated ammo slot is great as well. I'll go with a dedicated ammo slot. And Pliskin, uh, you have secured yourself, I think, a spot in the B team as a captain. Maybe C team, but he can 
you can certainly uh, work with uh, the teams. Um, there are really good abilities down here. Two extra hit points, good. Lightning reflex is good. And he's all self-funded thanks to his genius combat intellect. So, boy, that was a good pickup. That was a good pickup. So, um, negative trait uh, recovery, thank you. And we can continue. Uh, don't need alien alloys. Crystals aren't that important for us as well. I mean, Alarium, you can see alloys and Alarium, we do have a lot of that. I actually would like to make contact, Avenger so we're creating more intel by scanning. And I think we should create it twice as fast. Even more supplies. Laboratory uh, increases the chance of breakthroughs, that's what we need. I've made it up my mind, that needs to happen, and it needs to happen fast. Ludmilla helps here. We're starting to clear over here. Cool. Yeah, we need the we need the breakthroughs, guys. This is it's not getting any, uh, not going anywhere really. Unfortunately. I need way more breakthroughs. And specifically weapon related breakthroughs. Let me specify that. If I'm asking something from the game, I should be precise in what I want. Um, crystal and alien warrior. Um, hive warrior would be good. Priests, not useful. Chameleons, okay. I don't know what rippers are doing. But I know that we need data, intel, lots of it. Okay, so let's see what else we can uh, get. I mean, clearly we could uh, infiltrate this uh, chosen stronghold. It's not a bad idea. Um, getting them off uh, the field would be good. Uh, we already know one stronghold and we haven't yet launched the mission. Might be something for me to think about if we're good enough. I like the recruitment mission, but I already mentioned we're not going to go with more um, Templars. Hogbite is enough. Intel and mobility, not good. Um, could start with this. Gives us more resistance orders and dodge itself is also not bad. Seven days for four aim is rare. Eleven days for three aim. Yeah, how long until... I mean, look, we could do a little bit of a quickie here and just gather supplies. That's fine, seven days, and we get a reward plus that's actually not bad. Um, whom are we going to give that um, aim training to? The cougar is already good, but not good enough, so that could be a start. Marksman is already good, but bone training is not finished. Um, this here would be a six days gig. Straight in, straight out, gets aim bonus, we get supplies. And we're not making huge progress, but we're also not uh, going back. And plus, at the moment, we could theoretically uh, go for this chosen stronghold. But I might want to do that in six days. Uh, we could rally the prime team. Have bond level three, lots of hit. 
These are still bond level one, but I mean, hogbite is hogbite, so, so he's always good. Like in six days, we could uh, take out one of the chosens uh, and make our life a bit easier. So I think I like that idea. There is bond level three. No further uh, training available, not for now. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes. Chosen is near immune to critical strikes, it's okay. And you have outdone yourself. We need to work with her soon. This year is going to hamper our economy. And sabotage sucks as well. I figured lately out that black market is closed for six weeks. Actually only means it is closed for six weeks and not permanently. So uh, that dropped in, um, in importance. But six weeks is still a long time. That here doesn't matter and I don't know what the last mission is. And I don't want to spend intel in order to find it out. Um, we're increasing facility construction speed. That's always good. Laboratory 20% boost, not bad either. We could also improve the scan time, but currently we are good when it comes to scanning. We have the bonus still going. So this is actually going down to one and a half days, um, which means the increased uh, building speed is helpful. Got ourselves enough supplies for now. Okay, and what we need is still tech specialist on major so that we get adaptive programming. And then I think we have all of uh, the main updates, so that is good. I like that. Don't need another school check, that is okay. Could put the hyper vital module in there, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, laboratory has saved quite a few days by just starting to um, research that. And we're continuing to scan for Intel. And Russ is joining us. Welcome to the team, Russ. Got ourselves a nice little sniper here. Good job. And Russ is going to be one of those uh, stealth snipers. So take a subsonic shot that will disorient the target, but only deal 50% damage. If concealed, the shot will not break concealment. Though it will break squad's concealment. One turn cooldown, exactly what we need. Uh, by the way, also, that is not bad, once we have enough um, ability points to do that. Uh, 10% crit chance. Cannot see, you and the um, cannot see you and the stalk ability, a toggleable ability that lowers the marksman's mobility and detection radius. I think the detection radius will be key because we're actually going to suffer that massive penalty um, for vigilance. So vector rifle it is for you. And actually holo targeting. So he plays more like a scout, a reaper, but in its own rights. Our other reaper, we're only keeping him if a reaper is needed on covert action missions and and so on. So in terms of new training, we got three assaults, three medics, one, two, three, four marines, which is good. One, two, three marksmen. One, two, three, zapper. 
one, two, three tech specialist. So I think we're going for another tech specialist or another uh, field medic. Let's go with another field medic because uh, they are easy to slot in whenever you don't have one. Matt, you're going to become a field medic. Congratulations. I like healing. I am going to admit I'm a sucker for specialists and support classes. And for aim increase, fantastic. Good, we have something easy here. Reduce avatar project uh, will keep us in, in the game for longer. Breakthrough, better understanding. Mm. Alien loot, still recruit Templar. This time uh, they are sweetening the deal with a promotion. Ability points and promotion. Mm. Two resistance contacts and a promotion. Next threshold and a promotion. This one's actually pretty damn good. Superior PCS and dodge. Um, I tell you what, Russ uh, will get his first mission together with uh, Diddy G, who becomes our who becomes our. Um, covert action specialist they have seen more covert actions than any other uh, soldier we're buying ourselves 10 days we're doing something meaningful and we do have our prime team ready promotion uh, here of Zukuger has either on target enemy are 20 less 25% uh, less likely to dodge your attacks that's good direct attacks that have a 33% to grace the target okay direct attacks that miss have a 33% chance to grace the target actually not bad gain a chance to take a reaction shot at the at a newly activated enemy 20% chance with machine guns 25% chance with assault rifles Oh, okay, so that is Hunter's Protocol from the uh, Spark. That's actually good. Suppression, now have a 33% chance um, to graze each target when... A oh. Oh! Okay. That's not bad. So if you are AoE... Um, if you're AoE hitting... Uh, AOE suppressing, you would also hit all of them on top of it. That is really damn good. So I I like that one because it gives me more damage, AOE, and we're lacking damage. This one here isn't bad either because it's a lot of overwatch shots that can trigger just by running into enemies. Um, and if we're using him relatively far at the front line, it's not as great as Hunter Protocol, because I think Hunter Protocol was almost 50% uh, chance, but it is quite good. I will take Withering Barrage, uh, though, because it is uh, fabulous. And Lightning Reflexes aren't bad either. Weapon Hot could be good as well. Increases the Cone of Suppression by two tiles. Hmm. Taking a reaction shot at an unsuppressed target is moving into uh, or through the suppression area zone, turning it into a kill zone. Well, that is... I, I like where this is going. And... We do have a lot of... Um, a lot of shots in our... in our uh, gun. Additional ammunition on top of it, superior expanded magazine, so he's he's uh, clearly rocking it. I would love to give him cannons or uh, machine guns with a superior expanded magazine. But this year only costs 15 uh, points as well. This will make... Uh, mm, withering barrage a lot better and 
I can see that we are requiring to um, to suppress because we don't have the kill power for alpha strike. So I need to think about how do we actually deal with it. And a lot rests on um, on Marines actually because they have shredder. Not a lot of other classes do have shredder. Uh, they on top of it do have two shots, which is good. But they also just have a lot of AOE potential and suppression potential on top of it. So it's actually really good. Suppression ability now disorients ta uh, target, preventing them from using many abilities. So imagine that if you had skilled uh, this and this and this and this. So your AOE suppressing big fat uh, zone. Uh, let's say you hit four or five targets with it. All of them are disoriented. All of them have a solid chance of taking actual damage. I think even grazing shots would shred. So shredding would um, proc. Um, and then if you do have no man's land, um, even without no man's land, you take four reaction shots and everybody who is walking through that uh, zone on top of it will take some more uh, damage as well. So this is actually not bad. Not bad at all. The other option is to go into the sentinel route. Um, sentinel route together with covering fire is already really good. So if we're overwatching, uh, covering fire triggers for anything. And uh, this would mean shot into overwatch essentially means two overwatch shots. And that is not bad. Um, I think ever vigilant not so much needed because I seldomly just double move with them. It's simply not my play style. Suppression reaction shots will have a 10% critical hit chance and will plus deal plus one damage on a critical hit. So that isn't bad either because we can already crit on um, on uh, on overwatch shots. So if you combine that, I think I will sink quite a few points into um, Zoo Cougar because the class itself offers a lot of upside. So let's think about what we want to do sentinel is good but i think i want to go danger zone into no man's land first um, and then go sentinel and bring it on so that's good uh, super super solid what i'm seeing uh, the kill zone isn't as wide as uh, you uh, might want it to be but it is still good anyway so what were we going to do in the next mission um, I was a bit um, walking into a, rab uh, a rabbit hole with uh, the Marine and it's really excellent skill tree together. Uh, Marine uh, is I think my favorite class and second favorite would be Field Medic because it's not as strong as the support uh, but still does the job surprisingly well and has options to actually be a bit more aggressive so they made that uh, it in a way that healing um, is free and then you kind of reposition as well and I really like the tech specialist although I must say the protocols are well done but they are a little bit sh shy on uh, the um, uh, on the uh, cooldowns so that could be um, better if all of the um, protocols would have minus one or minus two cooldowns it would feel balanced because with the bulb up they are already pretty hindered so they should really have the ability to permanently do two things kind of combining the skirmisher playstyle with a more support oriented playstyle um, all other classes are fine as well but those three so far have piqued my interest um, we are going to go into the into the uh, den of the lion the lion's den and we're going to take the uh, prime uh, six characters and are actually going to fuck up the uh, mm, the hunter. I hate him. I think he needs to die. And I think we're strong enough uh, with a little bit of help to go through two or three iterations with him. Uh, the sarcophagus will have a lot of hit points and yeah, we that, that'll be uh, what takes the most time. But I think we're overall fine. So uh, I feel... Uh, confident that, uh, that that is going to work out. 
Wish me luck, guys. Next uh, turn, it's a uh, fight against uh, the Hunter. Thanks for watching this grinding episode. Um, and if you hate chrysalids as much as I do, uh, smear some vermin repellent on that like button. We don't want it to be infected and then spawn more. Give it a little bit of love. Thank you and have a good one. See you in two days. Bye-bye.